Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, people. Good evening. Oh. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello. Una pregunta, ¿cómo ven ustedes el logo de inglés corporativo? ¿Lo ven al derecho o lo ven al revés? No, Está lo bien. vemos bien. Ah, ustedes lo ven bien. Ah, bueno. Sí. Yo, es que yo lo veo al revés. Ah, no, teacher. <risa> ok. I'm using a new computer tonight. That's why I can have the... The background. Ahora puedo usar el fondo. Antes no podía. Uh -huh. Ya aprendió. Yo no he aprendido todavía. <risa> no, es que esta es otra computadora. Ya. Ah. La anterior sí no me, no me permitía. Ah, Querida. está estrenando. Estoy estrenando, pues sí. Eso. Llegó Santa Claus antes de tiempo. Qué emoción. Ojalá y me llegue a mi Santa también. ¿Por qué se bien? Sí, a mí me importa que bien. me llegue atrasado, pero hay que me llegue aunque sea en enero. A los Reyes Magos, Hilda. Así es, así es. Tiene que llegar, tiene que llegar primero Dios. No, es que ya la otra máquina ya sentía que en cualquier momento me dejaba varado. Ya tenía más de ocho años, casi diez años quizás. Así estamos nosotros con la de aquí también. ¿Mm? Ella quiere cambio, pero Santa no cae la rata todavía. No cae, hay que ir a... Buscarla. Hay que seguirla. <risa> ok, people, it's time. Sí, por eso no sé. Otra sesión dicen que estaba por ahí, pero ya. A ustedes no les contó, no les costó entrar. No, normal. No, teacher. A mí sí, yo intenté tres veces, Chich. La primera vez estaba esperando y me sacó. Después intenté y se quedaba cargando y nunca me dejaba entrar. Ya. Yeah. Es que como estas cosas. Estar pasando todo a una nueva máquina es un lío también. Pero a ver, ya entró es que yo como Carlos yo. no ha entrado ¿Cuál? Ya no tiene ninguna pesa no En el nombre del señor no Okay, people, let's get started. We're going to take the first attendance tonight. We are on the last three days, the final lap of this class, module five. All right. Okay. Okay, so let's get it started. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Ayer. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. 
Okay, welcome. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present. Welcome. Uh, Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Okay. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Ahí estaba. ¿Qué se hizo? Se fue. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thanks. Eh, Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Welcome. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Okay, good evening. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Good evening. Karina Melisa Estrada. Karina Melisa, oh no. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Welcome. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present. Okay. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Good. Tenaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Welcome. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Very good. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present. Welcome. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Okay. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, welcome one more time. We are on the last three days for this. Okay. Perfect. Teacher, uh, one question. Mm -hmm. uh, todavía no nos ha caído. Bueno, a mí en lo personal no me ha caído el el WhatsApp solicitando la documentación para, para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Oh. Ajá, no sé, ahora me cayó el WhatsApp de la encuesta, ¿verdad? Pero antes de eso siempre mandan para conseguir con anticipación los documentos. Pero sí. no, no, han enviado, no me han enviado nada, no sé los demás. Pero... En el correo, compañero, porque yo en el correo lo recibí. Tampoco, tampoco. Me y, parece extraño. Y lo mandaron hace más de una semana ya. Como una mm. semana tienen que lo enviar. Ok, no sé si me ayuda ahí, teacher, para ver si. Um, le... Para yo, yo puedo, solicitar. Yo puedo preguntar, pero le aseguro que le van a hacer más caso a usted que a mí. ¿Usted okay. tiene que comunicarse con ellos? ¿Verdad? Aunque sí, yo sí a, a ahorita. Ahorita le voy a escribir a la a nuestra coordinadora, ¿verdad? Permítanme. A luego es tarde, como dicen los mexicanos. Ah. De hecho, yo le escribí a, a, a un señor que se llama Jimmy. Le mandé un, un WhatsApp y me dijo que esperara el correo o el WhatsApp, pero nunca me llegó. Oh. Ahorita, Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Por favor.
Ya le escribí. Esperamos a ver qué dice. Ok. Perfect. Ok, let's get started tonight. Uh, 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 um, here. Uh, no. Give me a moment. Ok. Ok. Let me... Hola, Joana. Okay, let me share the screen. Oh. Okay, tonight's objective is this. At the end of the class, um, you will able to express possibility to request permission. Okay. We're going to talk about permission, something that we don't like. We people at work, they don't like you to ask permission. But let's see, we have a couple of questions here. How often do you ask for permission? Aha, uh -huh. tell me. How often do you ask for permission? Or you prefer to say I'm sorry than to say give me permission? That asking for permission. What what do you prefer? Prefere, prefere pedir disculpas o pedir permiso? Ah. Uh, Hello, how often do you, do you ask? I prefer say, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. I missed the class. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's your matter. That is not good. Uh, okay, but uh, let me rephrase the question. How many permissions can you ask? in your company in one year. Okay, let's see. How many personal permissions can you ask in your company in one year? Hmm? Think about that. Only necessary. All the necessary. Yes. Okay, good. In this year, only as two. Only, only as two. two. Ah, okay. Yeah. Good. What about the others? Okay, let's do something. Write in the chat. How many permissions can you ask in your job in one year? Because some places, well, at least where my wife work, she works in a public school. You can ask personal permissions only five in one year. Five personal permissions in one year. So what about you? Write in the chat, please. How many permissions can you get in one year? Talking about personal permissions, not, not medical uh, uh, permissions. That is different, okay, because we can get all, all you need. Karina says two. Huh? Hello, people. Are you there? I'm sharing the company when I, I work. Uh -huh. the same. It's the same with um, uh, his wife. Five days or five permissions. You can get fired. Is that what you five. said? Five, five permissions. Ah, okay. Yes. Karina says two. 
Veronica, Carla Veronica says three. Um, Carlos says, I can ask for how many I need. I just have to complete one request. Okay. Nice company, Carlos. Hey, come on, and the rest, where are you? You see, that's what I don't like cameras off. Porque solo están ahí los nombres y a lo mejor ni están, porque no me contestan lo que les estoy preguntando. Ven. Pregunto algo. Ah, okay. I can get for how many I need. Ajá, uh -huh. Marisol, muy bien. What about uh, uh, the other soul? Right, Jessica, Linda, Nelson, Angel, are you there? Or is just your name here? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, I want to see you. I want to see your answers. Miguel says four days, Jessica says two. Several permits due to my health condition. Uh, okay, yeah, but medical permissions is different. It's different. I'm asking about personal permission. So you said, oh, you know, my cousin is getting married, so I need to go to the wedding. And he's in, I don't know, in San Miguel or he's in Guatemala. Okay, good. I don't need, okay. Uh, maybe you want to say, Tenaida, quiere decir, yo no necesito o yo no necesité? Uh, yo no necesité. Aha, how do you say that in English? Need it. No. Uh, no. I didn't need. I didn't need. I didn't need. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't need any personal permits this year. Yes. Hey, good for you. <laughs> okay, very good. Now there is another question in the in the book, and it says, "What is the procedure to request permission in your company?" What is the procedure to request permission in your company? Let me ask to um, Silvio, what is the procedure in your company when you need a permission? Um, in my case, I only uh, talk to my, my superior, my, my manager mm -hmm. and and say what is the reason I need a permission. Okay. Because in my process, I don't have a backup. Ah, and okay. then no have a vacation for ah, many ah. years. And then when I need a permission is for, I need a permission. Ah, I okay. only talk to my manager. Ah, okay. In the okay. night, I... I uh, poner al día. Update. Update of the task. And ah, okay. It's okay. Perfect. Okay, what about uh, um, Karina? What is the procedure in your company to get a permission? Now there. Okay, you know, Jessica, what is the procedure in your company to get a permission? Not there. Teacher, uh -huh. in my company, the, pro the, the process is uh, go to my boss and after write the document because como se diría le descuentan el día discount so the doc discount mm -hmm. or deduct okay. oh economic uh -huh. they don't pay 
Ah, okay. Good. Well, not good, but okay. Um, what about you, Nelson? What is the procedure to get a permission in your company? In my case, only talk with my boss and I oh. say that I need a personal permission. Okay, very uh -huh. she, she say yes or she say no. Okay, very good. What about you, Miguel Angel? What is the procedure to get a permission in your job? He's gone. Okay. In my case, teacher, uh -huh. only I only I talk with my boss and and I rezo. How do you say rezo, teacher? Ah, rezo. Yo, yo y beso. No, no, teacher, rezo. No, okay. Con él. Okay, okay. Ok, yeah, no, así como no, dije yo. No. <laughs> en el rezo. Ok. That, that, that he say, yes, Hilda, yes. <laughs> Very good. Ok, people. Now, you see, that is the problem with the cameras off. We are not in class. And then, mm, ok. Uh, it's up to you. Let's read the conversation, okay? We have this conversation between Hank, Julie, and Betty about uh, something uh, like a permission. So let me go here. Listen. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go to see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay more time, listen, and let me record it in WhatsApp so you can take, you can practice it whenever you want. I recorded it for you. Here. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I think there is a mistake here. This must be Betty. And not Julie here in the conversation. Yeah, esta debe ser Betty. Okay, now please listen and repeat. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Hello, Hello Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. Why? Well, my mother, my sister, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. I am sorry, I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. 
is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation? No. Es, no. Es, es, HR es re, human recurs. Human resources. Ah, uh -huh. resources. Yes. Resources. Human resources. HR. Mm -hmm. What is a form? You can go, you could go to HR yeah. department and request a form. Formulario. Formulario, formulario correcto. Un, form, un formulario, okay? Okay, very good. Now, um, okay, let's practice one more time. And then I'm going to send you to practice in groups this conversation in trios actually to practice uh, the conversation let's practice one more time repeat after me good morning ladies how are you doing today hello hank i am okay but betty is not Really? What's wrong, Betty? Really? What's, What's wrong, wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Well, my, well, my, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. I'm sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. So please remember that this line is for Betty, not for Julie. Okay, we have Julie, and this must be Betty. Okay, so oh, let's let's from the groups. Groups of three. Ah, there are algunos oyentes, entonces. Okay, very good. Um, now let me see, give me a moment. Okay, before you go to the breakout rooms. So there are some questions here that you have to respond as well. What is the problem with Betty? And do you know someone who has a similar situation? Okay, so practice the conversation and respond these two questions. See you in a moment.
Él me quitó la opción de entrar, teacher. ¿El dedito o ya vamos a ver? Mm, buscarla por ahí porque estás en el grupo. No hay nadie fuera ahorita. Ahorita. Hola, Miguel. ¿Dónde me envió? Yo solo estaba ahí. Es que las otras chicas no han entrado. Déjame ver. Vamos a enviar a otro entonces. Voy a mover a otro, Miguel. Ok, gracias, Tichi. Ok. Hola, teacher. Al parecer no está Joana. Hola. Al parecer no está Joana, le. No, pero tú tampoco te has ido a tu grupo. No, se supone que estoy con ella, con Joana. Sí, pero ella no se ha ido al grupo. Ah, ok. Entonces te voy a mover a otro porque vas a... Te vas okay. a estar solo con ella. Va a estar sola. Ok. Eh, te muevo al...
No, I, I, I know. No. Okay. Irma tampoco. No. Ponemos no hay not. Yeah. Uh -huh. Una situación similar. En mi case quedaría yes. One co-worker um, requests permission for the help and her wife. Okay. Okay, seguimos practicando. I am Julie. Okay, and Angel is Be Betty. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. La segunda dice, do you someone who had a similar situation? Mm -hmm. uh, me, yes, 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 it has happened to me that I had my mother six and I had to ask permission to take her to the doctor. Entonces, pongámosle, do you know someone? Yes. Caro, she, she's, what, say, repeat, please, Caro. Yes, I has happened to me that I had my, I had my mother six and I had to ask permission to take her to the doctor. Entonces ponemos, yes, Caro, she need Pedir, give es dar, pedir, request, what, requerir, request, no, bye, request permission, because she need, Llevar. Uh, Harry. Harry, her mom. Oh, no. Carly. No. Hardly. Yes. What? Llevar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero me llevar. Ay, no. Qué barbaridad lo que se me olvida. Carry. That Kerry. 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 And her sister can go see her mother, her mother the next day. Yes, I do. I met a co-worker that she quit her job for her for her mother. Okay, finish. Okay.
Okay, very good. Welcome back. So, any question with the conversation? Everything is clear? Vocabulary, pronunciation. Everything is clear, teacher. Okay, no questions? Well, then, first question says, what is the problem with Betty? What is the problem with Betty? Her mo mother is her mother is sick, is sick and, and her sister sick. can go ah. can go see her tomorrow. Ah, okay, yes, good. Now I'm going to ask you a different question. Listen, when was the last time you asked? For permission. When was the last time you asked for permission? And what was the reason? A few years ago, I need uh, one permission because my son, he has a appointment. Okay. Good, your son had a medical appointment. Okay, good. Now, um, Tenaida. Hello. Please ask the same question to someone else. I'm going to write the question in the chat. When was the last time you requested a permission and what was the reason? You need my, my sentence, no. right? No, no. I no. want you to ask that question to someone else. You ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Um, hola. Hola. Do you um, do you need a permission in your job uh, in this year? In this year in. In the case, personal permission, no. But permission for help, yes. Two months ago. Ah, for, okay. Yes, for date, um, it America. What do you say? Medical appointment. For medical appointment. Appointment, okay. Who's the next one, Olga? Okay, Anna. Anna, Anna, Anna Marisol, okay. Yes. When yes. was the last time you requested a permission and why? When, wa when was the last time you request a permission in your job? Um, I didn't. I didn't ask for permission, only for medical appointment one, one month ago. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. ¿Cómo dirías, Marisol, yo nunca he solicitado un permiso? I never... I never Close. request... Close. Yo nunca he solicitado un permiso. Uh, I have never requested for uh, a permit. A permission. Okay, perfect. Good. I have never requested a permission. Great. Okay, Marisol, choose the next one. Um. 
Irma. Irma. What about you, Irma? When was the last time you requested a permission? Mm. Remember? In my work, in my work teacher, uh, no permiten. Uh -huh. uh, she between uh, my com my yeah. change between classmate or, or coworkers. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, so when was the last time you asked permission? When was the last time you asked for a permission? You remember? Uh, uh, for example, at theme party, my dad. <laughs> uh, ah, okay. <laughs> Good, good, very good. Yeah. Okay, pass the ball, Irma. Um, uh, Carolina. Okay, Caroline. When was yes. the last time you asked for permission? Uh, I have called ask, ask permission to take my daughter uh, to the doctor because she is here. Ah, good. One more. Pass the ball. Um, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. When was the last time you asked permission in your work? Mm, I request permission a month ago. A month ago. Um, Why? And the reason is one operation. Oh, for you? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Think about that, people. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look to the grammar topic in the book. So let me go here. Let's see. We're going to learn how to use could. Could is a mobile verb similar to should. I mean, en el sentido que es un modal verb. Ok. Y por cierto que aquí se han equivocado también y le han puesto should y debe ser could. ¿Verdad? Eh, acá. Aquí debe ser could. Okay, look at the sentences. We use the modal verb could to express possibility. Okay. You could request a day off. It's a possibility. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. And you could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation. Okay. So observe that we use could first, you have the subject, then could, then the verb in base form and finally the complement okay that is the order subject good verb complement all right good you could request a day off you could talk to your supervisor she could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation. All right. To express a possibility, a possibility. 
Any question with this? No question? No teacher. No, no question. Okay. No teacher. So there are some situations here that you need to write a possibility for each situation. For example, the situation is you don't have a car. What could you do? Uh, what could you do in this situation? What is the possibility for you? If you don't have you a car? You could take the company's transportation. Ah, okay, very good, very good. Okay, another possibility? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. I call I call not go go to that place because that place is so far away. Um okay. You couldn't go because that place is so far. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so I want you to write a sentence for each situation. We have four situations. Number one, you don't have a car. Number two, someone of your family is sick. Number three, you need to request a, leg, a legal document. Number four, you feel tired or sick. And number five, you are going to create a new situation and the possibility, okay? Imagine a new situation, what is the possibility? So I will give you, I uh, what, 10 minutes individually to work in this. Okay, complete this exercise individually. I'll give you 10 minutes and then you are going to share your answers. Okay, is it clear? It's clear. Perfect. In the meantime, mientras tanto, I'm going to take the second attendance, okay? Okay. So, cameras on and respond present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Okay, good. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Very good. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Great. Carolina Jamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Great. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Eh, Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Perfect. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Okay. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Um, she's having a, um, okay, Joanna. Thank you. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Perfect. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Thank you, teacher. Good. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Hey, what happened with Miguel? Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Good. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. 
Okay. Zenaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Zuleima Rodriguez. Silvia. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Okay. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Very good. Now, uh, bien. Uh, antes de que sigan trabajando en eso, eh, recordarles algo. Ya recibieron um, el mensaje de WhatsApp con la información de la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? El mensaje de WhatsApp o correo. Eh, ya se les envió, pero por favor se les recuerda que no lo deben de llenar hasta el día miércoles que lo hagamos todos juntos, ¿ok? Yes, es que aguántense, aguántense, ¿no? tranquilos. Yes, ok, teacher. No, muy bien. E igual recordarles que para el miércoles ya debe estar el examen final y todas las tareas de la, del módulo, ¿verdad? Algunos tienen algunas pendientes de las secciones anteriores y los que no, pues la sección 4. ¿Ok? Por ahí eh, me preguntaban de, de, la, de un ejercicio, el 17, por cierto, de esta lección. Solo pongan en el espacio de las oraciones la, re, la parte que falta, ¿verdad? Para que no tengan problema. En el ejercicio 17 solo hay que poner la parte que hace. Que es en un ejercicio acerca de esta, de, esta, de esta lección. Ok, bien. Dejo trabajar unos momentos, unos minutos para que terminen eso.
Me ponen la manita levantada cuando ya hayan terminado. Ok, por favor. Raise your hand when you finish. Thank you, Carlos.
Okay, now I will send you to the breakout room so you can share your sentences with your classmates. Okay, quickly, just a couple of minutes and share your work. Join the breakout rooms, please.
Hi, teacher. Hello. No apareció, Cari. Ay. Bueno, vamos a enviarla con otro. Okay, people. Let's see, tell me, um, for example, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. okay, Carla. Someone of your family is sick. Um, you could request a day off. Okay, good. Now let's see. Uh, Nelson, you need to request a legal document. Thank you for... You could go to the lawyer. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Denida, you feel tired, sick. I call go to the ISSS for, um, I don't know, how do you say incapacidad? Oh, a license or a, a disability. For rest. Mm, okay, good. Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Silvio, what, what situation did you create? What new situation? For five, I like, you like to travel and other country? Ah, okay. You could save money to visit other country. To save money, yeah. Good idea. Perfect. So, we use could to express possibility, okay? To express possibility. Any question with this? No. 
Okay. Let's see. Let's continue with uh, next lesson. We have a conversation here because this is very similar. Let's share. This is a conversation between people requesting a permission, okay? Talking about requesting a permission again and the procedures to, to get a permission. So, the conversation between Mr. Ray and Ashley it says as it goes. Let me here. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Ah, sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, um, yeah, the conversation goes on. Now, one more time. Listen, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, hmm. okay, what do you think about Ashley? The first day at work, she is asking for the process or the procedures to request a permission. Ah, yo no preguntaría eso el primer día de trabajo. No sé ustedes. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad sign. This girl is going to get a permission, ask for permission soon. Okay. Now listen and repeat, please. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Good afternoon, Ashley. Welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Thank you, Mr. Hank. No se llama Hank, se llama Ray, pero bueno. Por eso anda despistada, Ashley. Es lo que quiere es permiso para allá. Okay. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. No, no not yet, not not yet, yet sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Okay, okay where, where do you want, you to, want start? to start? What about how to request a permission? What about how to request a permission? Oh, request a permission. A permission. Sounds good. I will explain them to you. Sounds cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. I will explain it to you first. 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 This is como first. que va a seguir la conversación y le va a contar todo. Okay. Any question with this conversation? Teacher. Yes. En la, en la última parte donde dice son good, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Como sonido. Sounds good. Suena bien. Ah, suena bien. Suena bien. Ah, yeah. okay. Suena bien. Yo no le diría suena bien. Pero bueno, Mr. Ray is very polite. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Any other question? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. What is the meaning yes. of not yet? Oh, no. Todavía no, oh, señor. no. Todavía, todavía no. Todavía no, señor. Ajá. El jet acá significa todavía. Aún. Todavía. Yes. No, todavía no, señor. Okay. What is the pronunciation of this word? 
Procedimiento. No. Procedure. Pronunciation. Uh -huh. Procedures. Yes. Procedures. Procedures. Correct. Procedures. Very good. Well, we talk a little bit about that. No, ya hablamos un poquito. Ya me contaron the procedures and in your company to get a permission. Some of you will have an easy way. Just tell your boss, hey boss, I need a permission. Okay, no problem. Oh, very nice. Okay, very good. So, um, look at this. This is more complicated. Now, this is not as in your company. This is a very complicated process or procedure to request a permission. But look, first, in this company, no DAC company. First, print the request form that is available on the intranet. Two, fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. Four, write the time and day you will be absent. Five, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six, ask for the department manager's signature. Seven, present the form at the human resources office. Eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. Nine, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. All right. So oh, very strict, DAC, very strict. Is this similar in any of your companies, people? No? no. Mm -hmm. Well, teacher, yo nunca he llenado un permiso. <laughs> excellent. Okay. Yeah, it's similar. In, in yeah. my company, it is similar. Ah, okay. It's a long process. Yeah, in where I work in the mornings is similar. Well, uh, but I don't need to print the request. It's a Google document. It's I just need to fill out the form in Google. Write a reason for the permission is one of the questions. The time and day, yeah, is in the form. The reason is in the form. Uh, I don't need a signature. I don't need to present it to human resources. No, not in my case. I just fill out the form and that goes to the department in charge. Uh, well, they receive the form. Yeah, it's a virtual thing. It's not a paper. And they notify me if they accept or they approve the permission or not. Okay. For example, I already asked a permission for November 20. I have a wedding. My niece, no, it's my nephew actually. My nephew is getting married. Oh, and I'm not, I'm not going to miss that wedding. So I requested a permission for Saturday, November 20. It's oh, good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, we already talked about situation for permission. Okay, so what you are going to do now, I will uh, give you time to work in, in, let's make trios. 
do create a conversation, okay? Where you are similar conversations to this or, or this. So you can use conversation on page, um, what page is this? 41 and page 43, como una idea, no para fusilarla, verdad? Como una idea donde ustedes están hablando de pedir un permiso, verdad? De la razón, mencionan algo, pueden usar la información que pusieron acá, verdad? Usar esta información y creen una conversación ahí a su manera, ok? Y luego eh, la van a presentar mañana, ¿no? que ya hoy ya casi no tenemos tiempo. Hoy la van a trabajar. Ok. Okidoki. 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 Ok. Alrighty. Y nos quedó. Vamos a recrear los grupos. Somos. Por los que están, espero que queden. Vamos a ver. Problema cuando solo están los oyentes. Join the groups, please, and create a conversation. Please go to your groups to work in the conversation. Okay, como están aquí, están, están completos, sí, verdad? Three person, yes. perfect. Okay, we'll see you. Recording in progress. Bien, están completos aquí. Yes, teacher. Está Jessica yeah, presente. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. See you. Um, Perfect. Todos trabajando muy bien. Emma, sí. you, you say good morning. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. Voy a contestar. Good morning. And then yo diré, how are you? How are you today? Uno bueno, te va a decir, lo vamos a ir escribiendo para llevarlo. Ajá. Miguel dice bien, Michael dice, I'm good. Y Claudita dice, I'm, I, feel, I feel I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Because I feel okay. sick. Ajá. I have a problem. I have a problem. A ver. Hi. ¿Están bien Hi, aquí? Please. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, okay. Uh, Hi, ladies. I have a problem. Dice Linda. I am a little sick. A little sick. Oh. And I feel sick. By the way, here's Zenaida. Hello, teacher. Zenaida, uh, the personal session is with you tonight, okay? Okay, teacher. See you in a couple of more minutes. Yes, perfect. 
Y aquí envié a dos personas más, pero no han entrado. Llamo. Ok. Ok. Karina. Hola. Entonces sería, I am a little sick. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y le digo, and I think I need a permission in my work. Permission. And I think I need, I need a permission.
Hi, Carla. Hello, teacher. Okay. Se me caía la señal y no podía ingresar hasta ahorita. Voy ingresando otra vez. ¿Estabas con alguien o todavía no? No, todavía no. Ok. A ver si te pueden agregar ahí. Te envío un grupo entonces. Sí.
Hello, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, welcome back, people. Uh, you're going to present your conversations tomorrow, okay? We don't have time tonight. Now I'm going to take the last attendance for the evening, all right? Please, just respond. Present and turn on your cameras as insofar requires, okay? Okay. okay, I'm going to start from the bottom to the top. Carla Veronica Suria. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Right. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Present. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Zenaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay, Zenaida, please don't go. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, Olga, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have a nice Nel night. Thank you. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Miguel Present Angel. teacher. Okay, Present. Miguel Present. Angel. Perfect. See you tomorrow. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Present teacher here. Okay, Mayra. Good night. Good night. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, Linda. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Joana Beatriz Acevedo. Orellana Acevedo. There. 
Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Okay, Joanna, good night. And Jessica as well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Irma, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, Xiomara. Oh, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Good okay, night. Okay, good night. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Ángel. See you tomorrow. Good night. Sir. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. Ana Delmi Herrera. Ana Delmi. Okay, Ana Delmi. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Okay. Sí, eso veo. Okay, Ana Delmi, no problem. See you tomorrow. Okay, Ana Delmi, está bien, ya le escuchamos. Good night. Good night. Okay, Senaida. I'm here, teacher. Um, how can I help you? Is there anything you would like to reinforce, review? Um, I don't have a report and review, teacher, but uh, I need more practice um, my English because uh, in other time I have, um, I don't know how do you say, pena. Uh, I'm shy. I'm shy, I speak with the group and I forget the sentence. Uh, I think, in my um, cerebro. <laughs> in your brain. In my brain. Uh, I like the class because it's uh, funny. I don't, I don't feel two hours for a day. Mm -hmm. And no pensé llegar al quinto mes y estoy aquí okay. uh, con desvelos, con, con esfuerzo, pero um, lo que decía Miguel es cierto. Si yo no me propongo hablar y aprender, pues de nada me va a servir tener el diploma. Exacto. O el Exacto, ¿verdad? Entonces esa es, esa es la, la idea, ponerlos a trabajar en grupos, de hablar entre ustedes, de conversar, de armar las conversaciones, luego presentar en el grupo, ¿verdad? Y, sí, yo, yo siento que de como comenzamos al principio del módulo, han mejorado varios en ese sentido. ¿Verdad? Y qué bueno. Qué bueno. Y yo, yo veo que, que tú eres una de las que sí captan bien las formas, las estructuras y todo. Y, y es de eh, 
escuchar un poco más las conversaciones, tal vez ver qué, leer algo uh, para ir enriqueciendo el vocabulario. Anda, que muchas veces es ahí donde uno se, se atora y esto cómo se dice y esta palabra y esto. Uh -huh. y, y ahí uno tiene que aprender también a buscarle otro lado, otra forma. A veces pasa que una palabra es la que no te acuerdas y ya no hayas cómo hacerlo. ¿Verdad? Y te trabas por una palabra. Entonces hay que buscar algún parecido, algún sinónimo. Hay que... Para a veces eso es... Eso toca, ¿verdad? Para Pero lograr sí. formar la oración. Exacto, para terminar la idea. La idea es comunicarte, ¿no? Comunicarte. Entonces, sí. eh, no sé, aparte de las clases, ¿qué otras cosas haces tú para aprender? Eh, solo he estado escuchando como uh, alabanzas en inglés y han sido poquitas las palabras que logro como identificar de lo que estamos um, hablando y pues eh, nada, tengo que poner de mi parte aprender más verbos en pasado. Eh, y así porque ya a la hora de formar una, una oración estructurada en pasado es como que me, me pierdo y no sé si es que de los mismos nervios o pero me congelo <risa> sí eso pasa eso eso pasa pero poco a poco eso se tiene que ir eh, superando verdad eh, yo a muchos les he recomendado ahí te voy a escribir en el chat a un sitio que no recuerdo yo se, se los he recomendado en, en la clase a todos pero este oh, permítanme que son tres L's en este sitio hay muchas conversaciones cortas sobre temas diversos hay de todo ahí y son conversaciones de un minuto, a veces entrevistas, ¿verdad? De un minuto. Eh, entonces no son cosas largas, tediosas, sino que escuchas, puedes ver la conversación, eh, leerla a la vez que la estás escuchando, te reciben palabras eh, nuevas. Hay pequeños eh, exámenes de la conversación, ¿eh? de tres, cuatro preguntas de, de selección múltiple, ¿no? Para, para ver qué, qué se comprendió. Entonces, eso ayuda a enriquecer el vocabulario, a ir practicando las estructuras. Incluso creo que se pueden descargar las los conversaciones como para andarlas en el teléfono. Y estarlas escuchando porque para agudizar el, el oído, porque uh, hay, por ejemplo, hay americanos que llegan ahí donde trabajo y hablan muy rápido. Entonces ah, sí. me quedo como, uh, y eso pienso que es lo que me hace falta, aplicarme. Sí, sí, este... El oído se va educando de esa manera, escuchando, escuchando, escuchando. Y, y eso te ayuda a la hora de hablar también, porque de tanto que lo has escuchado, que ya tienes idea cómo van las cosas, ¿verdad? Leer también, como te digo, esas conversaciones se pueden escuchar y se pueden leer. Te va grabando en tu cerebro las estructuras, cómo se forman. Más que solamente estar haciendo ejercicios, ¿verdad? Gramaticales y estar, estar leyendo para que vayas absorbiendo ya eh, de manera natural surjan las cosas. Ok, es que sí. eh, Hoy con el teléfono, en tu teléfono tú puedes estar viendo estos sitios en tu momento de descanso, momentos que tengas en el día para estar empapándote en el idioma. Sí, tienes uh -huh. razón y pues me he descuidado porque siempre me ha gustado ser, como le digo, aplicada y hoy 
me he descuidado en ese aspecto. Pero estás a tiempo, estás a tiempo. En verdad, está <risa> en el nivel bien. básico, es el momento de empezar a hacerse esos hábitos y es, eh, es empaparse, ¿no? Ya que no estamos inmersos en un ambiente donde se habla el idioma, tenemos que crearlo nosotros. Exacto. Sí, porque ahí es raro practicarlo, son Tienes más que, ahora por la pandemia. Ah, de ser posible andar tu teléfono en inglés, las redes sociales en inglés, ¿verdad? O sea, meter. Buena idea. Meterte todo en inglés. No. Tiene toda la razón. Sí. Así Voy a tomar es. ese tip de traducir, de ponerlo en inglés para ir. Uh, claro. re refrescando mi mente irla edu educando el oído y la vista ah, para sí. cómo se escribe y qué es lo que dice música bueno verdad eh, yo recomiendo tú dices que escuchas música cristiana muy bien uh, pero en cuanto a música yo siempre recomiendo para poder entender ritmos lentos ¿Ritmos? Lentos. Que hay de todo, ¿no? Y, y entonces los ritmos muy rápidos cuesta entaparle, entenderle. A veces hasta en español. Uno no entiende qué están diciendo. ¿No? Entonces en inglés. Yo, yo siempre les recomiendo, aunque alabanzas no hay en este estilo, pero... Sí, porque son rápidas. Ajá, sí. Eh, y... Y yo recomiendo, no sé si estás viendo en el chat, a un ritmo. Sí. Ese, ese es un ritmo, ese es un, un estilo. Y se crean muchos, eh, muchos, los hoteles, los restaurantes ponen este tipo de música así, tranquila, suave. Donde se cantan las canciones populares, pero a ese ritmo. La verdad que es como un jazz, es como un jazz más o menos. Entonces es bien claro, la pronunciación es más lenta, ¿verdad? Y se escuchan bien, bonito y, y se puede entender mejor. Y educando el oído. Perfecto. Ok. Muchas gracias. Bueno, sigue practicando. Vas bien. Gracias. Nos vemos mañana, teacher. Ok, tonight, take care. Have a good night. Have a good night.